Does the house you're thinking about buying seem priced too high? Or maybe you're planning to sell your house and want to price it high so you have room to come down, you know, to allow for wiggle room. Selling a house is no small chore. It's actually a huge chore. There are so many different aspects involved in the sale of a house. Do you know the most important part of selling a house? Is it the advertising? Is it pricing it to match the Zestimate for your house? Is it having your realtor do open houses? Here's the real answer. The most important part about selling your house is knowing the current market value. Occasionally, houses are intentionally priced low to generate competing offers and increase the purchase price, and it can work in some instances. Pricing your home too high, though, is dangerous. Overpriced houses sit on the market day after day and month after month until the price is finally lowered. You start to say, is my home overpriced? Your listing becomes stale, buyers assume something is wrong with your house, and they will avoid it. As you continue to lower the price, eventually you will get that buyer who knows they can get a deal on your house, and you end up selling it for less. Don't put yourself in that situation. Let's talk about five negative effects of overpricing your home. It's coming up right now. Hi, I'm Melissa Spittle, the local real estate expert serving Carroll County and the surrounding areas in Maryland. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell. I publish a new video every Tuesday morning about a variety of interesting real estate topics. You'll be notified so you never miss the newest video. Now, let's get started. Overpriced homes take longer to sell. Timing is everything. When a house goes on the market, the greatest potential to attract buyers is within the first 30 days. By pricing it high with the intention of dropping the price later, you are completely bypassing your best candidates for buyers. Overpriced houses sit on the market for sale. Then buyers start to wonder what's wrong with the house and they completely avoid it. Overpriced houses have few to no showings. Buyer agents are obligated to do what is best for their clients. Showing overpriced listings does not fall into that category. Buyer agents will undoubtedly show properties that are within their buyer's price range and that meet the current fair market value. And buyers don't want to look at houses they think are overpriced. They will wait until the price is indeed reduced. That is, if they haven't already found a house that is accurately Priced. You're helping to sell the other houses for sale. When a house is overpriced, it not only sits on the market, but acts as a selling point for the houses that are priced correctly. Buyers will say, I can get the same house for less. Lender trouble. If your house is overpriced and a buyer is willing to pay that price, these are big risks because the house still has to appraise. Overpriced houses typically appraise for less and you'll be forced to either lower the price anyway or put your house back up for sale after the buyer goes to find another house. You'll make less. When a house starts out overpriced, it always ends up selling for less than market value. With few buyers to choose from, no leverage because of the amount of time it's been for sale, too high a list price and the continued cost to maintain your house while it's been for sale, most sellers end up getting the least amount of money rather than the most. There are two things buyers ask when they consider a property. One, what's the price? And two, how long has it been for sale? If it's been for sale a while, you can be sure they'll wonder what's wrong with it. When you finally do lower the price, some buyers will finally make an appointment to see it. If one of the buyers likes your house, they will make an offer but that offer will be based on how long it's been for sale and you will end up selling it for less than if you had priced it right from the very beginning. What's the bottom line? Trust your realtor when deciding on a list price. We actually know what we're doing. Don't miss this next video about the top four mistakes homeowners make when selling their house. If you're curious what your house is worth, go to the link in the description box below and submit a request for your home's value. If you're on mobile, just tap the title to this video and it will open up. And if selling your house is in your future, a lot of homeowners find 
my ultimate home seller's guide to be very helpful. It's in the description box as well.